plastic waste management is increasingly becoming a serious challenge in India. With massive amounts of waste generated due to rapidly growing consumption of plastics. The challenges get further compounded by the traditional waste disposal practices like landfilling and incineration leading to environmental degradation and posing serious risks to the human health. The sources of plastic wastes are diverse with polyolefinic waste plastics like polyethylene and polypropylene together accounting for major bulk of the total plastic waste generated. Dehradun-based Indian Institute of Petroleum, a constituent laboratory of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in collaboration with Gas Authority of India, has developed a unique process of converting polyolefinic waste plastics exclusively into any one of the specific liquid hydrocarbons such as gasoline or diesel or aromatics along with the simultaneous production of liquefied petroleum gas. The dirty plastics that you get from MSW, which is contaminated with, with different types of other plastics as well as non-desirable uh, non materials like uh, tin and uh, other metal parts. So what we need is that we have, to, uh, we have to clean and segregate the waste plastics into PE and PP which are actually going to be used for the process. The process starts with pre-treatment of polyolefinic waste plastics. This includes shredding of the plastic waste input followed by segregation and washing. After the washing and segregation, the polyolefinic plastic wastes are channeled into the drying chamber. The pre-treated waste plastic input is dispatched to the reactor in the processing unit. The processing comprises pyrolysis followed by catalytic conversion and subsequent condensation and fractionation to get the desired liquid hydrocarbons. The uncondensed gases comprise mainly C1 to C5 gases along with hydrogen. These gases can be used for heating the reactors. The conversion figures are really promising. One kilogram of clean polyethylene and polypropylene type waste can produce either 650 milliliters to 700 milliliters gasoline or 800 to 850 milliliters diesel or 450 to 500 milliliters aromatics along with liquefied petroleum gas in each case. The waste to fuel process developed by the Institute has certain novel features. The liquid fuels meet most of the Euro 4 emission standards. Engine tests with diesel obtained from waste plastics have shown lower emissions compared to standard diesel available in the market. It has been tested on chassis dynamometer in engine test laboratory in IIP. It has been observed that diesel obtained from the waste plastic is par with the diesel obtained from the refinery. Performance and the emission study has been tested it is par with the conventional diesel obtained from the refinery. The uncondensed gases can be utilized for recovery of liquefied petroleum gas as well as internal consumption in the plant. The process is completely environment friendly as no toxic gases are evolved. Uh, we had started this project about 10 years ago and the basic aim was to see uh, what we can do with the waste plastics and uh, one of the mandate of our institute is to see how to conserve petroleum. That led us to this uh, research work and we could develop a process by which we could get very useful products and uh, without polluting the atmosphere. CSIR's IIP Dehradun, in collaboration with Gale, has set up a continuous bench scale unit with a waste processing capacity of 10 kg per day and is in the process of setting up a pilot plant of capacity 1 ton within its campus. Basically, this project is a very flagship project of our institute, not only the institute, also in India. Because uh, this uh, is having the two ambitions. One is that uh, we are addressing to the Swachh Bharat missions, the Prime Minister's agenda. Second thing is that we are using this waste to produce a hydrocarbon fuel. Those parties who are involved in this 
were interested to take this technology and uh, they are already is lining up their Indian Railways, transport sectors of uh, municipal corporations. The technology developed by CSIR IIP stands out amidst the numerous processes developed worldwide claiming to obtain fuel-like products from waste plastics. In recognition of the development of this technology, CSIR IIP has been awarded as a winner of the National Awards for Technology Innovation 2012-2013 in the category of Innovation in Polymer Waste Management and Recycling Technology by the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, Government of India. The technology is expected to be a game-changer for India to create new avenues of livelihood by promoting entrepreneurship through technology commercialization and also provide alternative sources of hydrocarbon fuels and in the process reducing countries' growing dependence on fuel imports. The revolutionary CSIR IIP technology is an enviable intersection of effective plastic waste management and economic value creation.